Hello and welcome to the screencast version of Lights, Camera, Action. We're getting into my favorite section of video production, editing. And the first step of editing is importing. This is very important because if you don't import these files right, they will be uneditable and you won't get any further in your project. So the Canons and also the Panasonic that we use have a compression um, file structure called AVHCD. I should go back and say this is going to be on a Mac and if you're on a PC, you can figure it out yourself. So here's the first step. You want to insert the card into your card reader. And if you don't have a card reader or don't know where it is, there are also hookups for USB on the camera itself. So once you get your device in, you'll see it show up underneath devices. And once you click on that device, you'll see it has three folders. The one you're interested in is private. And underneath private, you can see AVHCD. This is obviously the most important and you want to take this entire thing. It shows up here as a QuickTime file, but on your computer, it may appear as a folder. Drag the whole thing into your destination file. I personally keep everything on an external hard drive because it runs smoother that way. And it's also important to keep things organized and have set up a folder for the project beforehand. So once you drag it in there, it may take a few minutes to import depending on how much stuff you have in there. Here, I'll show you quickly what's inside this AVHCD file. It appears as a QuickTime file for some reason. I go to show package contents. Then you see BDMV, and I have no idea what any of that stands for. And then you'll see a file called stream, and inside that, that will show you your actual clips. So you can view these clips with the free program called VLC. Again, no idea what those stand for. But um, editing programs need the supporting files in the AVHCD folder to edit them, meaning there's no way that you can individually pull these into your project. So now I'll show you quickly how Premiere works with AVHCD. So I'm quickly setting up the project so that the files go into the right place. And ignore this step because it'll do the setup automatically once you pull in the clips. So here's our workspace. And Media Browser is my favorite way to import. And on the side you can see the hard drive structure with all the files that you have find the folder that you've set up for the project, and then pull in your entire AVHCD file into your actual project. There you'll see that AVHCD appears as a file you can open and preview your clips. Then, for example, pull one clip into the timeline, and this warning pops up. Always choose Change Sequence Settings, and that will mean that your project is in the right frame of mind for you to begin to edit.